we were talking about Halloween, and this is part two of obviously whether Christians should celebrate Halloween. Now, the Bible says that we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith, and that without faith, it's impossible to please our God. And we're talking about this. We're talking about this celebration called Halloween. As I explained in part one, Halloween is Samahin, which basically is the Wicca or witchcraft holy day. Holy day. It's their day that they do their thing and they you know you know they believe that magic and power is at its greatest and grandest at that particular time and as i said we're talking about witchcraft very crafty witch neck <laughs> you haven't seen it don't worry about it it's a personal joke but um i have to understand that under the scope of witchcraft divination i want to read a scripture deuteronomy 18 verse 9 to 10 says when thou art come into the land which the, thy Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. I'll break it down. God is saying to the Israelites, do not, when I bring you into the land, follow in these traditions and these pagan worships and in these particular religious rituals that these people are doing in the land because they don't follow after me let me continue verse 10 there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter pass through the fire here's the thing like i said to you it is the what celebration of the dead it is where we they glorify evil spirits this thing is what they used to do you see you're not looking at the backlog of what they used to do you're looking at the forefront of what the capitalist has taken halloween to be a bit like what we have on february the 14th which is you know that love making day well i don't know what you call it valentine's day the capitalist has shown you valentine's day halloween day as a marketing scheme but that's not what truly it is halloween day isn't the marketing scheme that's just one way satan uses to diffuse and the tech deflect you from actually knowing the truth because second Corinthians 4 verse 4 says that God that Satan is the God of this world and he doesn't want you to get to know the light which is the truth so understand that Halloween we are meant to be new creatures and we're meant to have a new understanding of how things work I wrestle not against flesh and blood but against the principalities knowing that now I'm not walking in flesh those who walk up after the flesh there's condemnation for those but there's no condemnation for those who don't walk after the flesh but walk after the spirit understand that these people wickup.com read it yeah they said listen when it's these type of days they are connecting their spirit to and they want the spirit to connect to the spiritual realm. So whatever they do these things, fam, is to make sure they gain power. But where they gain power? Not in the flesh, in the spirit. And it manifests in the physical realms. I'm going to read, continue on. It says, do not let your son or make your daughter pass through the fire or that use of divin divination or an observer of times. This is basically, if you flip it to NLT or NIV, it is talking about the fact that observer of time is astrology. Those of you who read your horoscopes uh, and think you're calm and think you're nice because you're reading about cancer and you're reading about, um, and you're reading about, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> your Taurus and our Aries and all these things. Listen, fam. Stop reading them things, stop relying upon them things. I said Satan is a counterfeit, okay? First Thessalonians 5 to verse 22 says, Abstain from all appearances of evil. Listen, Bible saying, listen, don't be those who observe the times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with the familiar spirits. Paul had a situation where he was walking in Acts and the familiar spirit kept on saying, listen, this is the people, they know Jesus Christ, this is the Lord, da 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 da. And he cast that familiar spirit out. Why? Because even though he was preaching the truth, it didn't have pure intentions. I abstain from the appearance of all evil. Halloween, okay guys? People are trick or treating at what time? Night time. You want to go to people's house knocking on doors. This is the thing. As you think that they're knocking on doors, where do you think that originated from? As they knock on doors, demons are knocking on your door when you celebrate the same feast and actually glorify the feast of the dead, of evil spirits. You're glorifying things that kill. You're glorifying things that bring death. You glorify things that bring pain. You don't know it. You're a Christian and you don't know this. You're not meant to be celebrating Halloween. Verse 12 says, for all, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Let me say that again. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Oh, abomination. Oh, it's a very strong word when the Lord uses it, but he does not like that at all. In fact, he does not condone it at all. In fact, blood, it goes against everything that he, he, 
he himself has instituted and he completely condemns it saying it's an abomination to do what to what read tarot cards to read the crystal balls to have tea leaves to search the skies and times for cancel katoris kapakava we kapaka capricorn kapaka team i don't care what they are fam listen all of those things yeah walk after the spirit not after the flesh listen we are justified by faith we walk and we see in faith not in sight Stop looking at things like the Halloween thing as a sightful thing. Stop looking at it as a costume thing. I'm going to a little party. I'm chilling with friends. And start looking from a spiritual perspective. How is your walk going to improve this way? By following these traditions. Father God, our Holy Spirit has already told us. Jesus Christ done told us. For all these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Because all these abominations, thy Lord thy God, have drive them out before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. For these nations which thou shalt possess, hearken unto the observer of times. Listen, for these nations which thou shalt possess, they hearken unto the observer of times and unto diviners. But as for thee, the Lord thy God has not suffered thee so to do, because he will not share his glory with no one. All these idols, because all these diviners and all that, they are following idols, idolatry. And let me tell you something each time you go to do these Halloween celebrations, are committing adultery against who oh do you not know you're married to christ oh so when you step out and you follow these idols and you go celebrating all these ghouls and ghouls and demons you are stepping out of your marriage to jesus christ that's how real it is that was a part two i'm finished don't celebrate halloween if you don't think i'm telling the truth that's your business holy spirit i pray you convict somebody today amen